Learning about edible and medicinal plants is a wonderful way for kids to get excited about being outside. On our trip to Michigan last summer, we took some time with Calvin to introduce him to three plants that look a lot alike, one of which is edible and two that are not. All right, Calvin, you see the leaf, All right? Okay, you see how broad it is, yeah. right? Little jagged areas, okay? It almost looks like if you were to put your hand out, Okay, and you can cover it like that, see? Okay, and it's on a vine. Now what's normally here? What's normally here at the end? What did daddy teach you how to eat it? What do we call that? Snake's tongue? Yeah, let's see if we can find one. It looks like the deer are eating them too. Where, show me. Where at? Oh yeah, there you go. Get that one on there. In here. Okay. So you see how when the vine comes out, starting a new area, it splits out into two like a snake's tongue. Okay, try it out now. Okay, what's it taste like? Sour patch kids. Okay, and do you remember what kind of vine that is? Snake's tongue. What kind of vine? Not what we call the edible part. Do you remember what kind of vine that is? Yes, okay, so grape. So now, there is a poisonous look-alike that grows right next to grape that I need to show you. So you ready? Come over here. Poison ivy? Yep, come here. <clears throat> now don't touch anything on it, okay? But do you see how there's a vine here? See the vine? What's the main difference between this vine and the grape that I showed you? Look at it really closely. Not this one that. doesn't have pokies. Okay, doesn't have pokies. What do we, see these here? See that like hair coming off yeah. of it? That is very typical of poison ivy. And then, if you look at the leaves, do they spread out like your hand? Mm -hmm. No, they're gonna have three leaves. That's why the old saying is, leaves of three, let them be. When you see a vine like this growing up a tree, okay, and it's got hair on it, and it doesn't have those broad leaves that has leaves of three, you need to leave it alone. Because every year, people take this dead vine and they burn it accidentally, not knowing what it is. And there are many, many cases of people having to go to the hospital because they burned the wrong vine. And this stuff will get in your lungs when it turns into smoke. Okay, and look, if you look up high, you'll see some of the largest poison ivy leaves I have ever seen in my life growing out of this vine here. Look over there. Hmm? Daddy, look over there. What? Yeah, those are, those are actually from the tree though. See how you don't have see leaves of three on that one? Okay, but this one has leaves of three coming out of it. Okay, so here's another example of the poison ivy, Calvin. How do we know it's poison ivy? Three leaves. Three leaves. And then I want you to look closely. See these back leaves here? Mm -hmm. As they develop, they'll get this sort of thumb on the back of them. Kind of like the mitten off of um, a mitten you would wear in the wintertime. They'll develop like a little thumb on them. Okay, Calvin, so here we have a grapevine, right? We know it's grape because it doesn't have the hair coming out, right? It's not sticking to the tree. It's loose. You look up and we saw the really broad leaves, right? Okay, so what is another thing you can do with grapevine? You remember? Water. How do you get water out of a grapevine? You chop it open. Okay, and then where's the water going to come out? The place where you chop it. <laughs> yep, good. And it actually holds quite a bit of water. And that's Come correct. Out right there, yep. and, drink it. and the reason grapevines transfer so much water is because it takes a lot of water to That's create the grapes. Exactly. Good job, buddy. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Okay, Kevin. So, what is the difference between this vine and grape? Uh, it's 
got gray hair. Yeah, see the little gray hair? And what color was poison ivy's? How do we know it's not poison ivy? Because poison ivy's black and there's a lot. This one's mm -hmm. gray and there's not much. Good, yeah. So if you look all the way up, you will see that it has leaves of five. Now you see those berries there? Leaves of five can't think of a rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> you see the berries? Okay, this is one of those plants that shows that one of the survival myths is not true. Because one survival myth says, look at what the birds and animals eat. But this, these berries here on this Virginia creeper, it's called, birds will eat that. But we as humans don't want to eat it. It'll make your tummy sick. The other seed that birds will eat is poison ivy seeds. You think we can eat poison ivy seeds? No. <laughs> yeah. No. So you don't okay. want to you don't want to follow that myth. And this is one of the plants that shows us that. Now, what could you use this for in a survival situation? Fire. Rope. Fire. Rope. Yeah. Good. Yeah. If you got a really thin one, you could use it to maybe to put your uh, shelter together, right? Or if you got a really thick one, you can climb up the tree right up and, just the, and just build a and just build a base in the tree. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's good thinking. Since we feel that the best way to master any subject is to teach it, we asked Calvin to turn around and teach us about these vines. Okay, Calvin, what's that in your hand? A grapevine. How do you know it's a grapevine? Uh, it's got bark instead of hair, and it's not clinging to a tree. Good, very good. Oh, what, and the leaves. What about the leaves? They're big and fat. Good, very good. Now. What was it that you were telling Daddy you could do with the grapevine in uh, survival? Get hydrated. How? Because there's water in it. There's water in it. So what would you do to get the water out? Chop it open. Ah, and why does it have so much water? Because the grapes need a lot of water to sprout. Ah, okay. That's good to know, buddy. Thank you. It's extremely important for parents who take their kids outside a lot to really learn the differences between these plants. Knowing the difference between a grapevine and a Virginia creeper could mean the difference between an easy survival situation and one that you may not come out of. Once you become comfortable with plants yourself, don't just show your kids in a book. Take them out there and let them see and feel and sense the differences between these plants. Just be sure not to touch the poison ivy.